Welcome to your gold market update and charts of the day for today, Friday, the 5th of January 2024. Hope you've had a good first week of the year. Despite the market challenges, Mike Smith's seen analysts at Go Markets to lead her on what's happening as we approach the midpoint of the Asian session. <laughs> Looking across the headlines, disappointing start of the year continued in the US. There was only the Dow closed positively and only then by its fingernails. All of the other indices were down and, and gave up early gains to finish towards the lows. Obviously, we've got the non-farm payrolls today. That's likely to have an influence as to how we end the week. And markets may also be eyeing the start of earnings season and the US CPI number next week. So there may be some caution as well. US futures are, however, at this stage, just above neutral in Asian trading. Asian markets are mixed in cautious trading today. The ASX was up about 0.3% early on, but is given most of that up now. The tech sector is underperforming here as well as in the US. And European futures are pointing to a lower open. The US dollar traded near neutral after gains in the early part of the week. We saw Japanese yen weakness again. Uh, that continues in Asia today. Gold is edging slightly higher, sitting around 2050 after those early week losses. Copper pulls back again and is testing 385 support in Asia. And oil has traded lower after the previous day's bounce and hovering around important technical level in the short term today. Bitcoin was strong yesterday to push the price back towards that 45,000 level, but again looks soft in Asia. It doesn't seem to be the will to push it through. And as we've already said, US jobs are the headline act today, but we've also got Eurozone inflation data with CPI and PPI coming out this afternoon, along with German retail sales. And then later on tonight, We've got Canadian jobs also due if you're interested in Canadian dollar crosses. A couple of charts that caught our eye today. The Aussie US dollar hourly chart is looking interesting. We did see an initial uptick in the AUD, uh, but you can see that's been given away. So we are back testing the lows of yesterday at around about this 67 cent level. This looks really quite important. It was last tested back on the 18th of December. And if we put it on a four hourly chart just for context, you can see a breach through this may take us down towards 66.50 as our first port of call. That could be one to watch as we go through the day. On the ASX, there is some buying coming into the financial sector. We particularly like Bank of Queensland, technically. Uh, you can see there we've got this long-term double bottom pattern forming. Uh, we last hit highs in August of this last year and you can see we breached that in today's trading that move through six dollars looks really important through the 200 ma and we could see this up towards 650 uh, which would be a very acceptable uh six percent return as i said banks are looking strong generally they are the strongest performing sector today this is certainly worth checking out in the last hour of the trading day trade safe and see you again soon bye bye for now